Sean, tell me how you found out that be, you became the offensive line coach. Actually, it was from Coach Tomlin. He uh, called me and I actually got a phone call from Randy Finkner, the offensive coordinator, that's me to come into the building. And I came in, we were sitting there talking, and then Coach, uh, Coach Tomlin came by and said, he talked to you for a minute, came in and said, it's your room. I was like, hmm. I was very excited. It kind of <laughs> caught me a little off guard a little bit, but it was awesome. A great, great time right there for, for what he said. And it was, a, you know, just the experience itself was pretty awesome. Art Rooney the second had said when he was meeting um, with a bunch of the media last week that you were going to take a job like that at some point. He's glad that they were able to give you that job. Did you feel like your time was coming? It, I did. You know, it's it's it's. A, I had the the fortunate to be under Munch as many years as I had. Uh, he's groomed me, and I feel like I'm ready for the you know for the challenge and it's ahead. And looking forward to working with our offensive line. What's the biggest thing that Coach Munchak had taught you or something that you're going to carry on as you become the offensive line coach? The one thing I will say about Coach Munch is he's the most detailed person I've been around. He's detailed, 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 and that's hopefully something I can take and continue on in that room. Those, those guys really took hold of that, and uh, I think that's something they need. Did you reach out to any of the O-linemen? Did they reach out to you? And what was the response, I guess? <laughs> they actually reached out to me. I, you know, they, um, they knew about it pretty fast, actually. So I'm sure it got around the circuit pretty fast there. And Pouncey had texted me and Al <laughs> texted me. And Al's been called me a couple of times just to talk about drills and so forth. He's just looking forward to the, you know, the next challenge at hand. So it's been good. How does it help you that you are already so familiar with this group of guys? I think it's really helped out a lot, you know, just like Coach Munch going to Denver, he, uh, he's got to get to know those guys. Where me, I already know our room. I know, what make, I know what makes them tick, I know what upsets them, I know what motivates them. So that's a great thing to have in your pocket already going into the offensive line room. In terms of already having the hands-on experience, I know you were the assistant line coach, but you and Munch really split things, especially during practice. So can you just elaborate on what you have been doing this past year? Uh, he gave me the opportunity. I worked a lot with the tackles and so forth, and you know there would be times where I'd take the right side of the line, he'd take the left side. We were all working on the same same drills per se, but it was just he would take one side out. He had to be focused more on the players themselves. You know, you know to have four players working with one coach actually worked out a lot better. Let's say compared to having ten guys working with a coach, the detail gets explained more, mm -hmm. and I think that really helps them in the long run. And then even previous, just in your role, how have you grown here with the Steelers? I know you started back in 2012. Man, I've come a long way, I have to say. You know, when I first got here, I thought I knew football. And then, you mm -hmm. know, being in the rooms with the likes of, like, Coach Munchak and Coach Tomlin, I've learned so much from them. It's unbelievable. Is there anything you need to adjust in terms of working with Randy now that you are the guy? I will say with Randy is he he is um, he's always on top of his stuff. You know he's he's not a procrastinator to say he he's always work 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 work. He's full time. When he hits the desk, he hits it running. When he comes in the office, so that's one thing I do like about him. He's on top of it. He gets his stuff done fast, and he knows what he wants to do. And you know I'll just help him with that. Are there any challenges you foresee taking over this role now, or do you feel like because it, it happened at the right time, now you have the entire off season to get ready? I think the challenge is just the first time thing, you know, just being the first time I've done it, you know, being the, the lead voice in the room instead of being the secondary voice, you know, going from the Robin to the Batman. So, which is, you know, it's a role. You have to step in and take it. I'm looking forward to doing it. Any goals you set for the O-line as we sit here today? Uh, just to get better, you know, that's the thing. Those guys even, and when I say get better, we got three pole bowlers, but you know, you sit there and say, well, you know, as a group, we just got to continue to move forward and get better every day, and they, they know it. That's the thing about them. They're, they're looking forward to the challenge.